All right, YouTube, welcome back to uh, part two of two of. I'm actually going to come back to that area there because that's one of the last areas of the map here. So I just want to keep following the row here. And you have a bibble over here. It would be on your left side when you're coming through that. And we just got our fourth one. There's one more to find, then we'll get a thunder egg. Now these, you just all you got to do is bite these. I know it looked tough there, but all you got to do is just bite them. They're really easy to kill. Okay. So now what we're going to be doing is getting our uh, fifth golden cog, I believe. Yep, it is our fifth one. So we have five more of those to find on this level. We already found one of them, like I said, beginning up the round. Follow this up. Now, you're probably wondering why you're struggling to swim there, kind of like right here. You don't. You learn how to swim on about the third level here, or at the shipwrecks, I believe it's called, is when you start learning how to swim. And swimming in this game is very handy. You can move way faster. I love the magnets in this game, that way you don't uh, have a chance, because sometimes I do have a tendency to forget one of the last opals or go past it. It's very easy to do, especially if it's hidden in the grass and stuff. As you'll see in uh, other levels, they'll blend in a lot better. And there's our second boomerang. Oh goody. Lucky, aren't we? Here's another golden cog. So we gotta get three more on this level. And take on these frills. Ain't nothing. It's like going through butter. Like I said, this game will get much harder though as the game goes on. Looks easy right now, but. And we have our three thunder eggs now. We gotta get a lower the platforms. Like I said, it's all self explanatory. If you see me going back a few times checking it, I apologize. I just want to see what I have left and where they're located. So you like like you said, you jump and hold jump again, which is X and X. And believe me, that comes real handy in this game. Right. Hope you better go later. <laughs> well, that's enough gas bagging for me. Let's head back to the Bly Bly station. 
We will after we get the rest of the Thunder Eggs. So what we're going to do now is you can actually go back to the beginning by standing in these green mushrooms there. And what we'll do is go ahead and get that other uh, golden cog real quick and then we'll go ahead and get back to that area where I was at earlier when I started the video. You can really go which any way you guys want. I, that's just the way I happen to go because I like it. Okay. This is a little harder than I thought it was, alright. There we go. So I guess the trick there would be uh, to jump in that hidden part right there and then just uh, jump and get to that spot. You guys know what I mean, you saw it. God, I never stumbled this bad in a video before. I think I need a beer or something, I don't know. Get laid or something like that, I don't know what it is. I'm going to have a hard time getting laid playing Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, believe me, I, I would know. Some girls are attracted to video games though. A very few, but I've seen a few. But anyways, enough about my personal life. That's not why you're watching the video. We'll go ahead and uh, get to this area. It's right, just right here. And okay. Let's hope I can do this the first time. All right, good. Okay. Jump across here. And there's your uh, your beer, your ninth one. That I kind of have an idea where the tenth one is, but I just gotta play through it and remember. I love using this, watch. That's sweet. Now I can just walk right in the water and get rid of it. It don't last long anyway, but... So here's our tenth, uh... Watch out for them alligators. Here's our tenth, uh, golden cogs. So this is all ten golden cogs for this level. So we got all our golden cogs now. I'm just going to take a risk here and jump for it. Probably shouldn't do that, but whatever. Okay, and there's our 300 opals. That one more right there is all we need. That was, a, that was an epic fail, wasn't it? Okay. here and get this last one. That wasn't a half bad effort, Todd. I reckon with a little more practice, you'll get there. Cool! And then if you look in the waterfall here, there's our fifth bibble which will give us another thunder egg. So I believe now, the only thing we got left to do is a time attack, and well of course I gotta take the 300 opals back to the ending there. So stay tuned for part three guys, I'm actually going to do a part three video on this.